Okay guys, so in this video, I have somewhat of a split screen on the other side, so that way, like, many of you guys, new players, will not get bored by it. By the way, spoiler alert, we get some pretty good rolls on the G kits, we make a bit of money, and all that, and something else that comes from a shard, you guys will see. Um, uh, okay, so, basically what we're doing here is that we're, like, listing things that happen, uh, like, between these levels, this is for the newer players and all that, okay? Because, like, on their first map, they're unlikely to, like, get to, like, press f uh, 3 or 4. Like, they're just learning all these things. So, I'm just gonna assume, like, oh, this is gonna be, like, like the biggest learning curve in all time, okay? So, this is really all you need to know. Um, okay, so, from the beginning, uh, that's pretty simple. Nothing really much happens. So, you start off at level... Uh, wait, let me just, level 1, okay, so level 1 to 10, nothing happens, so I'm gonna write down nothing there, from level 10 to 20, you guys might be, like, a bit discouraged, to, uh, uh, yeah, and then, like, okay, so between level 20, I mean, like, this is, like, nothing happens here, nothing, like, legit nothing happens, except for, like, maybe a bit of, uh, discouragement. Uh, level 20 to 30, uh, you guys will, like, uh, start to understand, uh, the basics and all that. Um, you know, many of you guys already know this, but, like, here comes, like, the juicy parts. Level 30 to 40, this is a very interesting level to see, because I've seen so many players. Um, so you may unlock a cell, um, so what you may do with a cell is that, like, you may put some gens in it, but, like, honestly, it's not, I don't think it's worth uh, putting any gens inside a cell. Maybe just have a cell for storage. Nothing much. Um, you know, it's, like, it's great to have, it's cheap, um, storage, and nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. There's no point in having gens inside there, because you'll be whizzing through all these levels pretty fast. Um, between level 40 and 50, you may, like, uh, have, how do I say this? You may have, like, a small bit of trouble, um, you know, because all that. Wait, wait, what level do cells unlock? I think it's either level 35 or level 40, um, but level 30, unlock cells and all that. Um, I don't think you unlock cells. You save money for a cell. Um, yeah. If I can spell, save money for spells, simple, and then level 40... You get a cell. Um, like, this is just your own purpose right here. Uh, you get a cell, no gens, just chest. Just store everything. Alright, uh, but now when you hit from level 50 to 60, you are expected uh, to have your first rank. Um, I recommend at least getting second rank. Uh, recommended. Um, now, like, uh, mended. Here we go. So, when you're at level 50 to 60, not much happens. Like, you know, you may get your first rank and all that. It's good to have a rank and all. But, like, uh, how do I explain this? You're going to be keeping that rank for a while. Like, a long while. So, like, you can't really do much with it. You just have a rank. There's, yeah, it basically gives you stuff like slash, slash, uh, PV, um, more slash homes, um, uh, what, what else is there for this? Level 50 to 60, uh, hmm, slash home, PV, that's about it. Uh, uh about it. And also slash rank it. Okay. Oh, here comes, like, the really big parts. Level 60 to 70. Um. May have your first ticket. Um. Basically, like, this will be, like, Volcarian. Uh. Volk. Zenith. And Kalo. Kalo. Uh, plus, maybe, maybe, uh, 
a different heroic. Okay, so basically from level 60 to 70, you may get your first ticket. This is like the biggest chances of you getting your first ticket. Um, level 60, nothing much happens except for your uh, G kits. Actually, that's not nothing much. That's quite a big deal. Because like level 60 to 70, you start being, uh, start using um, iron gear. Where used um, even by end game players. You know, like, even endgame players uh, sometimes uses uh, iron sets and all that because they want to PvP. They don't want to really PvP in 40 sets, like, everyone, because, like, they're scared of losing it, maybe, or, like, it's not, like, worth it. It's, it's a, yeah, it's just stupid, honestly. Like, not worth, it's not something uh, that, like, is recommended, but, like, a lot of people do it just for the shits and giggles. Um, but you won't really get much... Uh, G kit from there, like that's the only type of G kit that you will get. Um, level 70 to 80, nothing, nothing big happens. Um, may uh, find the importance in uh, quest. Okay, so from level 70 to 80, nothing big happens except for you may find the importance of the quest and like how much they took and so forth. Or like whatever, or you know, I'm gonna put may join your first gang, um, because you know, no one wants to, no one wants like a level, what well, a level 40 to be in their gang. They want like something more like a 70 or an 80 or 90 or 100 or like, or like even higher than that. Uh, but like this is like, it's basically there. You're not gonna be in like a big gang. Uh, nothing special, really, like, it, yeah. <laughs> but then, when you hit from level 8 to 9, you are, like, okay. You have to start saving energy, uh, saving energy, slash, um, making money, slash, uh, getting more perks, enable, Enable to what was it saving energy, making money, getting more perks, and able to uh, start your diamond pickaxe. Pickaxe. I want you guys here, all you newer players out there, to at least have your diamond pickaxe to prestige two, one to two. Uh, prestige one to two. Um, before you hit level ninety. Now, like, why prestige one and two? Because you know you guys can mine faster. You guys can do more stuff with your pickaxe. It's basically it's a it's a must have sort of thing. You know, like saving energy, making money. Um, level eighty and ninety. It that may be hard, but like trust me, level eighty and ninety takes like a long while. Um, even for like some of the higher players without like any boosters or whatever like me it may take us like I don't know maybe like two days or so two or three days and like tr it's really hard for us so oh hard for me I'm like a mid class player if anything okay so from level 90 to 90 to the hundred the biggest things happen okay becomes hell um it, yeah, everything just becomes hell at this point. This is like where where people would say like you're a mid game player or something like a Like a you know what you're doing. You know what to do. You know how to make money, you know, like all that stuff But like when you're level 90 to 100, I would say beef up defense um Yeah, basically just beef up your cell defense so that way like you can have uh, protecting Gens, uh, gens, items, um, gear, gear, etc. <sighs> Basically, that's the first thing you do once you hit level 90 to like level 92. You beef up your cell defense, protect gens, items, gear, etc. Um, by this point, you are expected to have an energy ticket so let's just say uh, it was 
Warlock, Enchanter, Locksmith, I... Aputus? Is that how you spell it? No, that is not how you spell it, but whatever. Uh, Warlock, Enchanter, Blacksmith, Iapetus, Brodius, um, and, uh, what was it? Is there another one? I think that's it. Um, alright, uh, let's see, let's, let's get some color for a couple of these. Let's go for red, uh, basically I just mostly want to point out, like, the ones that, like, they're, they're the biggest ones to get. They're the most value for it. They're the most, uh, Enchanter, Blacksmith, I have here just Brodius. Okay. So you mostly want to get, um, Brodius or Warlock. Now, the reason why you want to get either Brodius or Warlock is because Warlock gives, um, it's low cost and gives about, uh, 800k energy on average. Eight, uh, no, no, not 800 like 650 to 800k uh, uh, average energy now like that's a lot um, Enchanter Blacksmith uh, Brodius basically Brodius it'll give you a good pick gives a good pick uh, for start of next map um, well, what else is there? Um, uh, gives fair amount of energy. Um, and if you have, like, spare picks, uh, spare picks can be sold. Um, sold for decent amount of energy. Okay. Ah, <sighs> there we go, uh, and then, like, that's, yeah, beef up star defense, yeah, what else is there expected at level 90? Um, by the end, the end of level 90, uh, level 90 to 100, um, should have either Grim Reaper, um, what other, uh, Grim Reaper is a really good one, Ares, Ares, or Executioner, um, okay, there we go, so, at level 90 to 100, you can see, like, there's way more things that show up here, oh yeah, and also, uh, gens, um, uh, where, where do I, I think I should rather put that in level... 80 to 90, um, set up gens and, uh, set up gens and AFK pool with alt, um, 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 uh, whoa, 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 I crap, I forgot something, set up gens and AFK pool with alt, Okay, um, Diamond Gens, yeah, there we go. Uh, Diamond Gens are, like, <sighs> excellent. Okay, so from level 90 to 100, um, I forgot to put this in, but you gotta put, um, Met Hunt, uh, no, it, it's more at the start, Met Hunt, oops. Met Hunting. Um, hmm. Yeah, met hunting. You should only met hunt from level 90 to 100. Uh, that's basically the biggest thing because it gives a lot of energy. Um, makes a lot of energy. That's practically all that mets do. Uh, but like they also like make around the same amount as mining in mines. Oh. <sighs> uh, Yes. Okay, uh, it makes this about the same amount of money as, well, you're in the mine, so, like, that's, that's not a downfall. But you should, um, aim, aim to met 
met hunt in safe areas uh, eg iron mine okay so this here is level one to level 100 basically and like this here is like you know it's like somewhat of a complete guide what is expected by this level what is not expected by this level and stuff um level 1 to 40 there's like not really anything um actually no make that level 1 to 30 and so level 40 all the way up to 70 that that's like a whole new area actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna highlight uh, a couple of these here. It's highlighted in blue. Um, blue. Level 10. Blue. So this is basically just the easy stuff. Like, you know, you guys should be easy with this. There's nothing too much to go around. Level 30. Yep. But then once you hit level 40, it starts to, like, pick up the pace a bit. So I'm gonna highlight that in green. Um... Okay, level 60, highlight that in green. Level 70, highlight that in green. Now, from level 80 onwards, that, like, that becomes a bit challenging for all the newer players and all that. Because, like, you have to put up with all the competition from all the other players and stuff like that. So, like, competition for all the ores, all the good rotations in the mine. Like, it gets harder. Uh, where is level 100? Right here. Okay, so when you're past level 100, you may either choose to prestige. Um, wait, let me just switch out a red. Uh, ooh, god, no. Um, choose to prestige. Uh, or, or, or. Uh, wait, crap. Mine met in pit. Now, this here is a great idea, honestly. Like, if you keep time and all that, uh, like, it's more of a. You have to be like. You have to understand when to go when you're in pit. Like, if you go at the wrong time and you mess up and lose, like, a bunch of valuable money. But if you lose, but if you go at the right time, then you bear. You basically just win at that point. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, choose prestige mine mech and pit. Um, what other way is there? Um, oh, LMS makes a lot of money. So you can buy chicken. Um, but like. This here is pretty rare to see, honestly. I don't think, I don't see so many people, like, doing LMS or, like, mining in pit. So, what people normally do at this level is get your pickaxe up to press 7. Now, basically what this does is, like, well, yeah, press 7. Uh, you get, like, an XP boost and all that along the levels, and that's about it. Um, so this is level 1 to 100 for, like, basically all the your players um and like by the end of this you should have a low tier cell low tier cell with gens um what else low tier cell with gens uh like three g kits not two g kits um oh god what the okay you should uh and second rank uh at least second rank all right all right so this is somewhat of a complete guide nearly no I'm, I'm like forgetting a lot of things but like this is like the biggest parts to all these levels I hope you guys learned something from this video this is more to help like all the newer players because honestly I want to save cosmic prisons and this is one way how I'm gonna help to save it so thank you guys for watching today's video it means a lot that you stick around to the end and actually like listen to all these tips. Um, even if you are a newer player, please um, also subscribe to my channel. Like, trust me, I I upload like every two days. Toggle uploads every two days. 
Uh, so that way, basically, you get a video out every single day. Toggle will do something, and I'll keep doing the beginner guide to help you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys later.